Hi, my name's Carly, I'm a diabetes dietitian and in this series of videos we're going to be showing you how you can work out the carbohydrate in the food you eat. This will help you manage your diabetes and have more stable blood glucose levels. In this video I'm going to estimate the carbohydrate in my jacket potato but I need a carbohydrate reference. I'm going to use the carbohydrate portion list. This is a list of food and in the contents page the foods are grouped and it's alphabetical. So I can go down to potatoes. I'm going to go to the potato section and I'm going to use this to estimate the carbohydrate in my potato. So I think that my potato is a large jacket potato so I estimate that the carbohydrate is 70 grams. But I don't know if my potato is a large potato. So I can make my estimate more accurate if I weigh my potato and calculate the carbohydrate. Here's the calculation. C stands for carbohydrate in reference food. W stands for weight of the reference food and S stands for the weight of my own serving. In this calculation we need two pieces of information from a carbohydrate reference. To do the calculation you will need a calculator, a notepad and pen, the carbohydrate portion list, some digital scales and the food you want to weigh. To weigh the food, I turn the scales on, put my plate on the scales and press zero or tear. And now the scales will read zero. Now I can put my food on the scales and my jacket potato weighs 210 grams. So now that we know the weight of my potato, I need two more pieces of information to do the calculation. I'm going to use the carbohydrate portion list. I need the weight of the potato and the carbohydrate in the weight. So now I'm going to do the maths. So the calculation is C divided by W multiplied by S gives me the carbohydrate in my serving of food. So from the calculation, the carbohydrate in my potato is 42 grams. But when I read the information in the carbohydrate portion list, my estimate was 70 grams of carbohydrate. Weighing and calculating the carbohydrate is more accurate. 